In the face of increasingly intense modern warfare, marked by rapid drone strikes and close combat scenarios, France is stepping up its commitment to autonomous precision munitions. At the heart of this transformation is the Veloce 330, a cutting-edge loitering munition developed by EOS Technology. Officially unveiled during the 2025 Paris Air Show, the Veloce 330 has now entered a key phase of operational qualification as of June 19, according to the manufacturer. Born from a collaborative effort with defense giant KNDS and supported by both the French Defense Procurement Agency, DGA, and the Defense Innovation Agency, AID, the Veloce 330 is being put through its paces across all branches of the French Armed Forces. This medium-range drone is built for agility, simplicity, and battlefield resilience. The Veloce 330 has undergone over a hundred test flights since its 2024 debut, steadily evolving into a mature, reliable platform. Key to its edge is a unique guidance system that does not depend on GPS. Instead, it employs an advanced terminal guidance module created by TRAAK, providing pinpoint accuracy at high speeds. A recently published video showcased the system's ability to destroy a full-scale tank with missile-like impact. EOS Technologies' decision to develop the Veloce 330 entirely in-house, including all software and hardware components, marks a breakthrough in national defense capabilities. It makes EOS the first French company to deliver a full-featured autonomous strike drone entirely through domestic engineering. This achievement supports France's broader goals for defense independence and next-generation warfare readiness. The drone can be assembled and launched in less than 10 minutes by just two personnel. It uses a jet turbine engine that propels it at speeds up to 400 km per hour, with a maximum operating ceiling of 6,000 meters. The 25 kg platform features a 3.3 meter wingspan and can carry up to 6 kg of explosives. Designed for stealth and precision, it becomes inaudible beyond a 2 km radius, making it especially suited for contested zones. Its maximum range extends to 100 km, all controlled through a compact and portable ground station. EOS's industrial model prioritizes scalable and cost-effective production, a core pillar of CEO Jean-Marc Zuliani's vision. KNDS has already incorporated the Veloce 330 into its Matari's product line for medium-range capabilities, increasing its exposure to the international defense market, where it competes with top-tier offerings from firms like Aerovironment and Uvision. This summer is a decisive moment for the Veloce 330's future. A batch of 17 units will undergo intensive testing with the French military, including warhead trials overseen by DGA Missile Testing, DGAEM. The 2.5 kg warhead, based on tech from the bonus shell, is a critical component in these live-fire tests. Simultaneously, EOS is progressing on the Rodeur 330, a longer-range version of the Veloce. This new model features a piston engine, pushing its operational range past 500 km with an 8-hour endurance window. The Rodeur reflects EOS's flexible, modular design ethos, emphasizing rapid adaptation and efficient manufacturing pipelines. Zuliani highlights that innovation must go beyond flight capabilities to also transform how these systems are produced at scale. The Rodeur is also being positioned as a potential candidate for an upcoming DGA tender for sovereign strike drone platforms. EOS's ambition is clear, to deliver a user-friendly, robust, and competitively priced solution for modern combat scenarios. With drone warfare increasingly reshaping global military doctrines, especially following lessons from Ukraine, EOS aims to stand at the forefront. The Veloce 330 isn't just another drone, it symbolizes the emergence of a sovereign, high-tech French defense ecosystem ready to respond swiftly to the demands of modern conflict. EOS technology is positioning itself not just as a manufacturer, but as a strategic force in the evolution of smart, autonomous weapons systems.